Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about solving quadratic equations by extracting the square roots. Before we start with our main discussion, let's have a recall first and find the following square roots. Number 1. What is the square root of 25? To find the square root of 25, we will just think of a number that once we have multiplied it by itself, the answer will be equal to 25. So obviously that number is equal to 5 because 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So the square root of 25 will be positive negative 5. So we will just put positive negative 5. Meaning to say we have two possible answer. One is positive 5 and one is negative 5. Next one, what is square root of 169? Again, we will think of a number that once we have multiplied it by itself, the answer will be equal to 169. And that number is equal to 13 because 13 times 13 is equal to 169. So the answer will be positive negative 13. Next, what is the square root of 9? So, think of a number na kapag minultiply sa sarili niya, ang magiging sagot ay 9. So, that number is 3. Because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. Next one, what is the square root of 16 over 25? So, this time, ang given natin ay fraction. So, to get the square root of a fraction, we will get the square root of the numerator and the denominator. So think of a number na kapag minultiply sa sarili, ang magiging sagot ay 16. So that is equal to 4 kasi 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So that will be the value of our numerator. Then yung square root of 25 naman, isip ka ulit ng number na kapag minultiply sa sarili, ang magiging sagot ay 25. So that is 5 because 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And that will be the value of r denominator. So square root of 16 over 25 is positive negative 4 over 5. Next one, what is square root of 8? So in this example, there is no square root of 8. So the thing we need to do here is we need to get the factors of 8. And the factors of 8 is 4 times 2. We will think of a factor na kapag minultiply natin na magiging sagot ay 8 at yung isang number doon dapat merong perfect square. So 4 is a perfect square. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Pagkatapos nyan, simplify natin yung 4 magiging 2 to the second power. So ginawa lang natin siyang 2 squared. Bakit natin siya ginawang 2 squared? Para ma-canceled out natin yung exponent na 2 at yung square root na symbol. So this will be cancelled out. Ang mangyayari, lalabas na yung positive 2. So magiging positive 2 square root of 2. So yung isang 2 na lang yung matitira dito. So the answer will be positive negative 2 square root of 2. Next one, what is square root of 32? So ganun ulit yung gagawin natin. We will think of a number or factor na kapag minultiply natin 32 ang magiging sagot at yung isang number dapat merong perfect square. So yung factor na yun is 16 times 2. So 16 is a perfect square. So kaya yung 16 magiging 4 to the second power. 4 squared is just equal to 16 times 2. Again, makakancel yung uh, exponent na 2 then yung ating square root. Tapos, nalabas na yung 4. So, magiging sagot natin ay positive negative 4 square root of 2. So, we will be using this concept on our 
discussion for today. So it is important for you to master this topic. Let's have the following objectives for today's topic. Letter A, express quadratic equations in the form x squared is equal to k. Letter B, solve quadratic equation by extracting the square roots. Letter C, appreciate the importance of solving quadratic equation by extracting square roots. Let's have our first example. The middle portion of a stage is to be covered with a red carpet. The carpet is a square with an area of 64 meters squared. What is the length of the side of the carpet? The first step is we will let x be the length of the side of the square carpet. And alam natin ang formula para mahanap natin yung area ng square. Kasi we are talking about a carpet, a square carpet. So we are... Uh, dealing with its area. So, ang formula natin to compute for the area of the square is area is equal to S squared. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. We're in yung S, ito yung side ng square. So, this will be our working formula. So, we will just substitute our given with our formula. Area will be equal to 64 meters squared. And then yung s squared, papaltan lang natin ng x kasi let x is equal to the length of the side of the square carpet. So s squared will become x squared. And then isisimplify na natin using extracting the square roots. So ang gagawin natin dito is imumultiply natin siya both sides by square root para makancel natin yung exponent na 2. So, square root times squared will be cancelled out. Kaya matitira na lang dito ay x. And then, yung 64 times square root will be square root of 64. So, square root of 64 will be equal to positive negative 8. So, we have two possible solutions. x sub 1 is equal to 8 meters. And x sub 2 will be equal to negative 8 meters. Obviously, the answer must be positive because we are looking for the length of the side of the carpet. So it must be a positive number. Therefore, the length of the side of the carpet is equal to 8 meters. Let's have our next example. Let's solve the following quadratic equation by extracting the roots. So we have the quadratic equation x squared minus 121 is equal to 0. The first step we need to do to solve the quadratic equation by extracting the roots is to transpose negative 121 to the other side of the equation. So negative 121 will become positive 121. So we have x squared is equal to 121. And then after that, you just need to multiply these both sides by square root. So square root times squared will be cancelled out. And then 121 times square root will be equal to square root of 121. And then, just get the square root of 121. Think of a number. Now, once na minultiply mo sa sarili niya, ang magiging sagot ay 121. So, that is 11. So, square root of 121 is equal to positive negative 11. So, we have two possible solutions. The first one is 11. And the second one is negative 11. So these are the two roots of this quadratic equation. Let's have our next example. x squared minus 15 is equal to 0. So again, we will just transpose negative 15 to the other side of the equation. Negative 15 will become positive 15. Then we will multiply this both sides by square root. So square root and squared will be cancelled out. So this will become x and then just multiply 15 times square root. This will be square root of 15. Since 15 is not a perfect square, we need to simplify this. But square root of 15 cannot be simplified no more because it is the simplest form. Meaning to say this will be the answer. So we have two possible roots. The first root is square root of 15 and the second one is negative square root of 15. 
Next problem, let's try to solve the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 27 equals 0 by extracting the roots. Again, transpose negative 27 to the other side of the equation. Negative 27 will become positive 27. Now, before we multiply this both sides by square root, we need to divide this both sides by 3 to cancel out the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. So we will divide it both sides by 3. 3 will be cancelled out. So ang matitira na lang dito ay x squared. And then 27 divided by 3 will be equal to 9. And then saka natin siya multiply both sides by square root. So x squared times square root, square root, and squared will be cancelled out. Kaya matitira ay x. And then 9 times square root will be equal to square root of 9. And square root of 9 will be equal to 3. So we have two possible answer. One is positive 3 and the other one is negative 3. Let's solve our next problem. Solve the following quadratic equation using extracting the roots. So we have the equation 5x squared minus 125 is equal to 0. Again, negative 125 transposed to the other side of the equation. Negative will become positive. Then, after that, we will look at the numerical coefficient of our quadratic term. Since it is not equal to 1, we will divide it by the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term. So if this is 5, we will divide it both sides by 5. So 5 divided by 5 will be equal to 1. This will be cancelled out. Ang matitira na lang ay x squared. And then 125 divided by 5 will be equal to 25. And then sa kanan natin siya multiply by square root. Square root times x squared will be equal to x na lang and then square root times 25 will be equal to square root of 25. And since 25 is a perfect square, makukuha natin yung square root of 25. We will just think of a number na kapag minultiply natin sa sarili niya, ang magiging sagot ay 25 and that is equal to 5. Kasi 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So we have two possible roots. The first one is positive 5 and the second one is negative 5. Let's solve our next problem. Paul has to use oil paint that can cover 50 cm squared. If he is going to paint a square frame, what is the length of the largest frame he can paint? So we will let x is equal to the length of the side of the square frame. Again, since we are dealing with a square frame, we will be using the formula of the area of the square, which is area is equal to S squared. And what we need to do here is we will just substitute the value of the area, which is equal to 50 centimeters squared, and the value of S squared will be just equal to X squared. And then we will just perform extracting the roots. So we will just multiply this both sides by square root, so square root times x squared will be equal to x and then square root of 50 since this is not a perfect square we will simplify it so the factors of 50 is 25 times 2 so we will think of a factor na yung isang number na yon dapat merong perfect square so yung number na yon is 25 since 25 is a perfect square so 25 times 2 is just equal to 50 and then yung 25, gagawin lang nating 5 to the second power. And then, makakancel na natin yung square root at yung squared natin. Kaya lalabas sa square root yung 5. So, magiging 5 square root of 2. So, x will be equal to positive negative 5 square root of 2. We have two possible roots. The first one is 5 square root of 2 centimeter. And the second one is negative 5 square root of 2 centimeter. Since we are looking for the length of the side of the square frame, ang sagot natin ay hindi pwedeng maging negative. So obviously, ang magiging sagot natin is yung 5 square root of 2 centimeter. Let's solve our last problem. Cora has a piece of cloth whose area is 32 square inches. What is the length of the side of the largest square that can be formed using the cloth? We will let 
x is equal to the length of the side of the square cloth. Again, since we are dealing with the area of the square, we will just use the formula of the area of the square. Area is equal to s squared. And we will substitute the corresponding value. The value of the area is equal to 32 square inches. And the value of s will be equal to x. So we have x squared is equal to 32 inches squared. And we will perform extracting the roots. We will just multiply this both sides by square root. And squared and square root will be cancelled out. Kaya magiging x na lang siya, then 32 times square root will be equal to square root of 32. Since 32 is not a perfect square, we will simplify this. So we will think of two numbers that once we multiply it, the answer will be equal to 32, and one of the factor is a perfect square. And the factors are 16 and 2, and 16 is a perfect square. So 16 will just be equal to 4 squared. So squared and square root will be cancelled out. Kaya lalabas na yung positive 4. So x will be equal to positive negative 4 square root of 2. So we have two possible answers. The first root will be equal to 4 square root of 2 centimeter. And the second root will be equal to negative 4 square root of 2 centimeter. Since we are looking for the length of the side of the largest square, ang kailangan natin dito ay positive value or positive number. So the answer will be positive 4 square root of 2 centimeter.